Hi there, it's DJ B, and this is my face. <laughs> what? I'm going to be doing a product review of Vallejo Airbrush Model Paints. Generally speaking, for most of my customizing tutorial videos, you've seen me use Golden High Flow Acrylic. It's a great paint that you can just put right into the airbrush, and it comes in enough colors to create different model horse coat. But I came across this Vallejo Model Air, and it is a specific brand of paint which is used in the model train hobby. They have so many colors that this paint comes in. Every horse color you can imagine. So I bought five of these just to try and test them because I was curious. And then I also went ahead and bought this whole set off of Amazon. This is the weathering color set. So they sell these sets that are not too expensive. This is around, I think, $60. I will leave the Amazon link in the description below so you can go purchase these kind of sets. And I thought that this one had the most model horse type colors included in it. These paints are designed apparently to go right into the airbrush. One thing I've noticed is you really need to shake them. Uh, the paint settles pretty badly at the bottom. Just dump them all out. So I checked some color swatches of the colors that were in the kit and you actually get a lot of model horse colors which was quite surprising. It even comes with a flesh tone that you can use for the pinking markings on your models. So I just took the Smarty Jones model and applied a bit of the 100% acrylic resin matte finish that came in this set and this worked really really well actually and it can be diluted with water you can apply in thin layers, dries quickly to a hard finish to protect colors. So I just applied this on my original finish Smarty Jones model, and when I let it dry, it almost dries undetected. It's really hard to see in the footage, but you can see that I painted a little bit of it on there. I think that this product would work really well for customizing repairs. So these paints going directly into the airbrush actually worked really, really well. I was very pleased with the flow of the paints and how they applied onto the model. I found them a lot more true to their color. So I tried a couple different techniques on different models and I found that I really liked the layering effect and this paint came out very smooth. This is just the paint with no thinner or flow medium and I was achieving some awesome looks. I also wanted to try the metallic colors. Now these didn't work as well going straight into the airbrush. You can see my airbrush is struggling to get the paint out and I tried mixing in some water to thin it down. I tried a couple different things. Definitely wasn't my airbrush malfunctioning. It was this paint. It's a little bit thicker. So I find with this stuff you really have to use the airbrush on full blast to just kind of stick it all over the horse which means you don't really have control in getting the depth or shading of the model but it will work good as a base coat for say these chestnut models or even blacks with the metallic black. So I really like the metallic sheen and I think will add a depth to my future customs. So overall, I really like these Vallejo paints and I honestly think I'm going to switch and completely use these from now on. I hope to create dynamic coloring now that I have a better selection of shades and tones. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my mailing list to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped in your decision of purchasing these awesome paints.